What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. I've been looking at uh, some more mile runs. The latest mile runs are coming in, and they're continuing to amplify and show scenarios after scenario after scenario after scenario of either tropical storm or hurricane uh, development going on. So we're going to go over that. We're also going to go over the uh, global sea temperatures to cross-check all of this because if we even take a look at it, even right now in the western Atlantic, look at this, 28 degrees Fahrenheit from, the, from Africa all the way to the Gulf, all the way even hundreds and hundreds of miles away from Bermuda. So there, there's a, this is open season essentially for development that's going on right, uh, going to happen. And an important date we need to start at is August 17th. Because August 17th, or around that time frame, is when the European and GFS are picking up on tropical wa waves that have the potential for development. Let's go ahead and get to that. It's now August 17th. You see this tropical wave that's about to get off the coast of Africa right here. And then we start to see the, um, some uh, ensemble members de detecting some development going on. So that's a situation we need to take a look at. And then we start seeing more tropical storm force. We're looking at 1,002, 1,001 millibar. Uh, just off the coast of Africa too. So that's a tropical storm uh, just off the coast of Africa, which is very un uh, uncommon to happen. But this is these are just two out of many scenarios. And as you can see, as time goes on, we start to see more systems amplify, and we look at potentially hurricane uh, hurricane strength um, um, ensemble members in some cases. Like look at this one. This is at the Bahamas. This is uh, this is north of Puerto Rico. This is in the Caribbean. This is the European model. It's starting to show a lot more systems potentially developing. So that's something we need to keep a very close eye on, something we need to pay very close attention to as hurricane season starts heating up because by August 26th, it's pretty much pr it's pretty much good. And if we take a look at the wind shear and cross check this, it's effectively open season at this point and compared to where it is uh, compared to where it is now, which is still really rough, really bad. Uh, in a lot of these areas right here. S and we're looking at uh, 50, 60 knot uh, wind shear. Like, look at this. This is really bad. You do not want to see this if you want tropical development. And if we take a look at what happens in the, what happens in the next week or so even, let's go down to 168 hours, it gets even a, it even gets a lot better. And with the wind shear just really just not uh, starting to chip away and by the end of August, it's going to be completely, it's going to be mostly gone. There is still some stuff going on. Uh, there is some stuff, uh, still some stuff going on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 200, uh, 200 millibar uh, to 850 wind shear right here. Like there is still some going on, but it's not nearly as bad as what we were seeing, uh, what we're seeing now, which is like, you do not want to see this if you want tropical systems. This is there is so much shear in the Atlantic right now. It is probably the only thing that's keeping anything from developing earlier. With that being said, that wind shear, wind shear will start chipping away slowly but surely. It just chips away, and by the end of August, it's open season at this point. Now, I want to take a look at the GFS model because there was a previous there was a previous run that I for, that I completely forgot about. And I've reviewed this before recording this video, and I want everyone to pay attention to this. Because this, number one, this model goes out 35 days, which it doesn't really give you a where and when it's going to happen, uh, a hurricane's going to hit, but it does give you an idea of how much activity we could be seeing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quickly. And if we take a look at this August 17th, that's that cut, that's that cutoff date where we're looking at more tropical systems and we're already starting to see some increased development going on. We have that one scenario in Texas, but we already talked about that and things just start really ramping up after August 24th, if you know what I mean. And then it just and then it continues we have several systems uh, actually we have several scenarios of systems going into the Caribbean Sea with with more with one of them going down to 964 963 millibars or 962 uh, potentially a major hurricane just either br brushing past by or making landfall in the Yucatan and if we take a look at this this is September 2nd now we have multiple scenarios of either a, of a hurricane 
making landfall somewhere on the Gulf Coast. We don't know exactly where or when it's going to happen, but we now have a lot of scenario, potential scenarios of this happening. If you want to, if like, if you were skeptical before of any hurricanes happening, well, they're coming pretty soon, and they're com and they're coming pretty hard. September is the peak of hurricane season. After August 20th, it starts to really surge, and this model run really checks out because if we go back, if we go to August uh, August 20th right here, it that's when things really start changing. Like I mean, they already are changing now, but they really start to change and, and change in a very fast and very aggressive way. So we will need to pay attention to this. We have a long way to go before hurricane season's over, folks. We don't have until November 30th until it ends. To all the people that are out there that are saying that there's not going to be a hurricane season, there is going to be a hurricane season. It hasn't started yet. We're looking at a potentially backloaded uh, season. We have a lot of tropical waves that are just coming, uh, coming off. They're shooting off the coast of Africa. And as that wind shear calms down and as that air gets more moist, they're going to start developing after August 17th. That's that magic day we're looking for. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, get your hurricane preparedness plan in act, uh, in ready and prepared for in case of an emergency. It is now, now is the perfect time to really do it, honestly. We're already seeing mile runs of many scenarios of hurricanes, either there are either of them either impacting the Gulf or the Caribbean. Wherever you're at, start preparing now. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.